What's happening guys? Welcome to another video. Can't stop saying yo. I'm gonna blame I don't know whether to blame AB for that or the cop who said it. We're um back in Chichester today. <coughs> gonna do a revisit. See if they've improved and try and get a subject access form so I can request some body cam footage. Just gonna grab a coffee. Oh, like this Check in with you in a bit. Got my coffee. And we've arrived. Got some police out here already. Hot man. Oh, it's only 23 degrees. I say that's hot. Especially as I've walked probably about 40 minutes. Yeah, as I said, we're gonna go in and get a subject access form. Let's see what happens. Do you want to go to the other end for me? Okay. Hiya, can I get a subject access form, please? Uh, you can, it's all done online. Uh, I can't print one, so I've been told I can collect one at the station. Oh, let's see if we've got any. If they put it all online, they stopped a lot of it. Up here, really. Okay. Is it local? We've got body cam footage of an incident that's taken place. With Has me, that yeah. incident been done and dusted? Yep. Right, okay. Then. But it's in Hampshire. Yep. Right, you'll have to apply to Hampshire. Okay. It'll be their final decision whether you can have it or not. Right. That's all. You put down the reasons why you want it, they'll make a decision on the, the data protection of whether you're entitled to it or not. Okay. That's all. But all right. if there's a complaint there, right. yep. as you just said about there being an investigation afterwards, um, that'll be something else. And you're putting in a complaint about an officer, it's not going that way. You won't go. You won't get it that way. You have to put in a complaint about to the force. Yeah. That goes up to the professional standards department. They will look at that. And as it's part of an investigation, you won't be allowed that to start with because it's an independent part that look into it all. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. But you'd have to put in a, a formal complaint before they do that. Because okay. that would still be then come part of an investigation. Okay. Yeah? Um, Hopefully on, that, that answers what you On want. the point of complaints, this is for Sussex. Yeah. Um, I did put a complaint into professional standards probably about a month ago okay. um, regarding um, Karen Hanna, who works right. at this station. Okay. Um, and they referred it to, they said they weren't interested and just referred it to the station right. um, and said someone from here will contact me about it, but no one has. I just wonder, is there anyone here that can speak to me about it? That's or? all restricted. When a complaint goes in, if you put it in, it goes up to professional standards and, and it's restricted down because it is a complaint about someone. Yeah. that works with Sussex Police, um, they would send that email down to, I would probably be able to find that, right. because it would go to a sergeant, inspector, whoever, yeah. to deal with it, I would have thought. But at some point, you should hear something. I yeah, just wondered month. if there's a general time scale or anything. Um. Because it's gone up there, first of all, and they've looked into it, and then they've sent it back, probably that a month, to be fair to you, it isn't a long time, although it seems right. a long time. Yeah. By the time it does what it's got to do up there and then it comes back down and it'd be dealt with at a local level, I would have thought, depending yeah. on what that complaint is. And I'm, I'm yeah. second guessing it a little bit because I don't know what your complaint was. I don't need yeah. to know. <laughs> I was just out here talking to some PCSOs. Oh, right. And she's um, CID. I see she was in plain clothes. And she just charged straight at me, raised her hand up to me and said, You've got to move. Oh, right. um, and then refused to identify herself. But I got her identity in the end. All right, okay. Well, <laughs> that would be looked into, obviously, for whatever reason, blah, blah, blah. Um, and Because once you've put in that official complaint, if you like, yeah. 
it obviously gets looked at all the way through. Once that's been identified at the end of it and what the result was, then you should be notified of that. But it okay. might take time to look into it. Um, but I don't know if she's actually at this station no more. That's all. Oh, okay. Karen Hannah. They've moved, haven't they? So if you, when, 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 you, when, you, when you make a complaint, which is, and that's absolutely right, but you know, we, we're held accountable, um, it goes to our uh, professional standards department. Yep. Now, professional standards department, really what they're looking for is they're looking for, um, they're looking at the level of complaints where they're looking about um, uh, dishonesty, um, corruption, yep. uh, serious conduct, assaults, that, that, kind of, that kind of level. Yeah. Where it is, uh, where it is uh, I don't want to say another level, because that kind of dissipates what, what you know, your, your yeah. issue. But it was more just childish behaviour, you know. Well, the, 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 sometimes a lot, a lot of the issues between the police and the public are around communication, how the police have communicated. Yep. They're very, bear in mind I'm slightly biased, <laughs> obviously, and, um, we, uh, and we all have different communication styles. You've been subject to someone's communication style that's upset you. Um, so they pass that down to the officer's supervisor. Um, in relation to that officer, I don't think she works here, she, her supervisor will be at headquarters, although she works in this area, right. um, and that gets, so it gets a little bit more complicated, you can't just say, we'll go and talk to the sergeant who will talk mm. to you, because he won't have anything to do with her at all. Um, how did you make that complaint? Was it uh, I emailed Sussex's yeah. professional standards. Oh, did it, sorry. And then, but they've looked at it, and they, you say they've sent it back down to be dealt yeah. with a uh, local her, level. Her superiors or yeah, whatever. So I, mean, uh, I don't what, think it'll be here. What we can do is if we take take your name, contact number, and the date you made that complaint, we can contact our customer services department and see where that complaint has now gone. Right. When I was a sergeant, if I'd receive a complaint, um, I've always found that the best way of resolving that is to contact the person that's made it straight away so that we can start discussing. Otherwise, you know, if you sit on it, that just becomes a, another complaint about yeah. it not being handled properly. And so. to be honest, I put footage of it on the internet, right. and it's almost at 40,000 views. Um, yeah. Because, so, but, uh, and what I would just to balance that, what I would say is that, is that there are people that at the moment, as you, as you probably see when I go through the YouTube, that are out there debating the police because yeah. they're trying to provoke a reaction, aren't they? Really, what they're provoking is they're provoking a reaction from another human being, you know, and then putting that on YouTube. I'm not saying that's what you've done, but that's why it's really difficult to do this. I don't suppose that the force will make you remove it. You know, it's in the public, you know, it's in the public domain, isn't it? That's the life that we live now. Yeah. So if you want to leave your details, we'll try and find out. Yeah. They, do they don't have my details on the complaint anyway. Sorry? They've got an email address for me, but they don't have my name. No, no, but I, it, by doing that, I can chase it up for you, is what I'm saying, but you don't have to if you don't want to. No, I, don't I, make I, just don't, I don't have a way of chasing it up if I don't know who you are. Yeah. Yeah, they've only got my email address, yeah. they, they, and they same. actually put my complaint down as that I'm female, so I'm not sure how they decided I was female, but you know, you can't assume people's genders, so maybe no. I could be. But they, they should get, well they will, get back to you at some point to respond back to that contact that you had with us first of all, whether that's just to say, we've looked at it, X, Y, Z's happening now, or nothing, or whatever, or they want to talk to you further, they should get back to your original form yeah. of contact. But that can take a number of weeks, that's all. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Fine. Okay. Right. All right. Thanks for your help. Okay. Cheers. Bye. All right. So they don't give out forms in person. Uh, Sorry if the footage isn't as good as the last video.
I kind of forgot my gimbal today. So we're kind of doing a bit of freehand. It's very quiet here today. Just waiting at the minute to speak to somebody. Because they can't give me a subject access form here, I have to go to a different station. But they're just finding out. Obviously which one I can use. Because they've closed all the front counters. Um, but yeah, they're busy dealing with someone else at the minute who seems to have had their car impounded. Um, so I'll just wait for them to come out and then go back in. Should probably mention that I'm wearing this t-shirt today. I'll insert it now. So, hopefully they'll kind of get the message before I even open my mouth. Um, yeah. It's an unmarked car, look. Naughty, naughty. Just been in and they're still dealing with the same person um, as they have been for the last 20 minutes. Um, so, go for a bit of a wander and come back, and then maybe they'll be free.
nice place, Chichester. Not much up here. Oh, Baywatch. So this is the famous spot where Shaggy from Scooby Doo was um, and he was leaning up against that wall and then his friends ran away behind there and he followed them like a little lost sheep. Um, so, oh yeah, I am, yeah. Stop filming, Why? Because you're on the police premises. Yeah, my team's going to the front office. Yeah, but are you filming? Yeah, I'm doing a vlog. No, uh, can you stop filming, please? Why? Because this is private property and I don't want you to be filming. That's not, with all due respect, it's not about what you want. I've got a legal right to film. Not on, not on the police premises. If you want to go over onto the pathway, you can do it. But on police premises, you're a security risk, and I would prefer you to stop filming and leave site. I'm going to the front office. Who are you going to the front office for? To speak to the front office. Okay, but I've got a query. Okay, can you turn that off? Yeah. When I go into the front office. Yeah, if you turn it off now, and I'll take you to the front office. Well, I don't need to turn it off. Uh, I'll, I'll escort you to the front office then. Okay. But all the time. I feel you're a bit hostile, so I'm not going to turn it off. No, because you're Just a security risk, because you're doing hostile reconnaissance, you see. How's it hostile reconnaissance? Because I don't know if you're a threat to us here. You could be a, you could be a, you know, a terrorist for all I'm concerned. You might be working for a terrorist cell, so you could be doing hostile reconnaissance. So if you want to follow me to the front office... I'm narrating a story. Okay. If you want to follow me to the front office... What, what does my T-shirt say? Follow me to the front office. You said you're going into front office to... to I am going to the front make, office. Make a query, so if you want to follow me to the front office. I've been waiting in the front office, but for the last half an hour, they've been dealing with the same person, okay. and they need someone else to come to the counter. Maybe you can help with my query. Do you want to know what I want to know? Uh, so what I want to know... Uh, me again. Um, you know I said I have to go to the Hampshire Police counter to get the request form? Yes. Are you able to tell me the closest one which actually has a counter open? 
haven't. Um, no, their front desk is closed. Are you able to print a copy of it for me then? It's going to be a Sussex thing, it won't be Hampshire but at all. If you go onto the Hampshire website, it's on the, it's called SA1A, I think. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Well, he wasn't very nice. We got the form. So props to props to the counter staff. He was very helpful. Um, you know, printed me a a form for Hampshire, even though they're Sussex. Uh, because Hampshire don't have any front counters open. And don't like physical forms. I wonder why. Um, but yeah. I think apart from that moron. It was a pass. But, I mean, we've learnt that Hannah, PC Hannah, Karen, has since moved to a different police station. Um, so, we're not going to be seeing her today. Yeah, I think. I think that's all for today. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that. Going to be doing. Um, we've got another. Got another place that I've got in mind, um, which isn't police or anything like that, but something I thought would be quite cool. So. I'm going to be doing that over the next day or so, and um, and yeah, so we'll. Hi, yeah. Fine, thank you. Um, Just reading this form. See ya, that's Chichester. Thanks for watching. AA out. <laughs>